Shalom. 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 Wanna give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the sincere Akim, the 104,000 men, the one third men, women, children elected to be saved from the children of Israel, which are the so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, confusion of faces. So, my brother and I would um, link up today, Brother Yawasab. Brother Yakar. And, you know, we were exhorting each other. And, you know, I was mainly seeking counsel, you know, because, you know, I was going out, playing straight. The scripture says, confess your faults to one another, you know, and to see whether you're in the faith or not. Right. And, um, you know, my brother says something profound, and through the spirit, some precepts are coming through, and you know, we're going to do a quick lesson to exhort the acting, all right? This is Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13. But exhort one another daily, why it is called today. Least any of you be hardened through the deceitful, deceitfulness of sin. Yeah, ah. So it's something that that each Akim is supposed to be doing, you know, exhorting each other daily. All right, so that no man won't be taken in their fault. All right, the scripture saying, um, this is First Timothy, uh, Galatians, Galatians six and one. It say, if a man be taken in a fault. Ye that are spiritual, restore such one in the spirit of meekness. All right. Says, considering, yeah. Can we read it? Read it? It's like Galatians 6 and 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Yeah, so there's something that we ought to do also. You know, exhort the, brother, the, the brotherhood daily. You know, through the scriptures, of course. Yeah. Through the spirit of how Bashim and how Shed. Alright? And if a brother be in a fault, ye that are spiritual, you know, supposed to restore that brother in the spirit of meekness. Alright? Now don't come down on a brother like hey you going off, you gonna kick you out of camp and stuff like that, you know? But you do it in the spirit of meekness so that that brother can be restored. Alright? You become that we say that 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 breath, you know, and you, you give it on to him. Yeah. All right, and one of the things that I said to the brother was, or the reason why you know we're shooting this video is because um, we, as men of understanding, men in this truth, you know, everything that we do, everything that we do, we ought to put the how bashing the how shy first. Yeah. We shouldn't be seeking things on our own, you know, or going after things on our own. We shouldn't be running this race by ourselves. Or even thinking in our minds that we, we could run by ourselves. All right? Yeah, and if I might expound a bit on the precept, right? It says um, in meekness, and it's not saying be all effeminate. Oh, my brother. Like those so-called Christians. You approach, you approach and you, you deal with the brother as a man. Be real. Be 100. Don't let a pride demon jump for you. I think that you can't talk to your brother. Because if you can't talk to your brother, how are you going to talk to your how about Hashem Yahushai? Because they ain't coming for no sweet talk. Right? Um, uh, before I read the precept real quick, right? The brother, the brother, you know, threw up a prayer. Or the Yakal threw up a prayer to your how about Hashem Yahushai. Whereby he said, Yahweh, if this ain't coming from you, he ain't want it. And you should go ahead and expound on yeah. the exact word. This, this is what really why yeah, I say. Because the Lord works in different ways, all right? And the Lord will, will put you in situations so that you could acknowledge Him, you know, to the best of your ability, all right? And one of the things through the Spirit that I would say lately, you know, for the past month or so, past month, yeah. for the past few weeks or so, is that. If it ain't coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I don't want it. If this wisdom ain't coming from the Lord, I don't want it. I don't want to grow in this truth if the Lord ain't gonna give me that growth. I don't want to get understanding if He ain't gonna send the the, the Kodash to give me the understanding. Mm. All right, and that's that's just me personally. And I was expung telling the brother that you know that's that spirit that the Lord put on me. You know. 
and it's good. And you know what the brother said could 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 expound to every part of your life. Right. What a job, if what is a particular job, if it didn't come from your house, you don't want it. If it's a particular um work mate, woman, whatever it may be. You know? Right. So this is uh James chapter one verse seventeen. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither a shadow of turning. Right, so with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, that's where every good gift lies. All right, and he will give it to you as he see fit. All right, there's no changing, no variable, variableness with the Mosai. Scripture saying, um, you mean. You mean Malachi 3 and 6 real quick after? Mm -hmm. Alright, because the Lord, once he puts his hand to something, or once he gives something, that's it. There's no turning back. This is uh, Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right, so the Lord, you know, he doesn't change. Alright? Yeah, it says in verse 18, of his own will he begot us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his, of his creatures. Yeah, All right, so those those good gift good gift is this word of truth. All right, what could be better than this truth? And you know, through the spirit, we gotta realize that Yahweh knows what we want before we we um. We ask, yeah. Our father knows best. He knows better than we. He knows his son. All right. So everything that we, everything that we get, whether it's even as affliction, whether it's blessings and whatnot, is a good gift. Is a good gift, right? It says every perfect gift. gift, right? Next precept for uh, switch to. Yeah, we be seeing James uh, one and five. Oh, slack. Yeah, this is James chapter one verse five. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh that giveth to all men liberally. Right, so if any of you act, lack anything, you know, in this truth, let it be wisdom, understanding, you know, a uh, woman, you know, some money, whatever it is, ask the Mosai. All right, go to the Lord first. Don't seek, seek it out on your own. Why? Because you ain't going to find it. Or if you do find it, guess what? You're going to think in your mind that you get it on your own and you're going to forget the Lord. Mm. All right? You're going to become, you're going to lift up yourself, you're going to think that you're going to think yourself to be something. You get a precept in Corinthians which say, um, it's Corinthians, which say, if a man think it himself to be something, and you can finish the relation. There you go. Galatians chapter 6 verse 3 for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing he deceiveth himself yeah so if you think yourself to be something when you're nothing you know you deceive yourself all right you're telling yourself a lie you know and one of the things that you, we have to put in our mind give me um uh Sirach chapter 3 and read verse read from verse 20 i believe yeah one of the things that we have to put in our mind is that we are nothing but with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. As we are in this flesh, we are nothing. All right? But with the Lord, we can do all things. We have our own self, we are nothing. Okay? Yeah, it says, uh, Sirach 3 and 20, right? Yeah. For, for the power of Yahweh is great, and he is honored. Of the lowly that one? Um, it's a, it's a, um, yeah, 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 the same one. Yeah, this is Sirach chapter 3, verse 19. Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. We'll read from 17, Sirach. 
All right, slap it. Yeah, Sirach 3 and 17, my son, go on with thy business in meekness, so shalt thou be beloved of him that is approved. All right, so you have to be meek, humble. Oh, All right, you think yourself to do nothing. All right? right. Go, whatever it is that you do, you, you do it in the spirit of meekness. You be humble with it. All right? Yeah. Verse 18, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. See, and there's the point. No matter how much wisdom or understanding you get of these scriptures or in this truth, the more you go or higher, the more humble you're supposed to become. Okay. All right? The more deeper understanding you get, the more humble you're supposed to become. Why? Because you're supposed to acknowledge the most side that he's the one that gave you the understanding. He's the one that lifts you up, not yourself. Yeah. And if I might expound real quick, and that's why we go through affliction for, for Yahweh to humble us. Yeah. To remind you that, um, I, think, I believe the Apostle Paul said that, for this I was given a thorn in flesh because of the exceeding abundant um, wisdom, roughly paraphrasing that Yahweh gave him. Certain things, certain affliction we go through is to humble us, to keep us in check. All right? This is, um, yeah, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before Yahweh. The more humble you be, the more favor you're going to, you're going to be more favorable in the sight of the Mosa. You know? Don't think yourself to be anything. Don't, don't seek things out in your own. Right? Let everything come from the Mosa. Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Dash. Yeah. Next preset? Yeah. yeah. I got uh, Hebrews 5 and verse 4. This is spirit. It says, And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of Yahweh, as was Aaron. Yeah, so, I mean, this precept was talking about priesthood and so forth, but no man can't come into this precept except it come from Yahweh. No one can take the priestess onto, the, onto themselves, all right? Fine, 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 fine. Right? But he that is called of Yahweh, as was Aaron. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and the, the brother and I was, was going through it. My Ak Akiah was going through it is that we really got to keep pressing asking Yahweh to give you understanding of how serious this truth is, how solemn this truth is. This is not something you just something you do on the weekends, and you know sometimes you might get comfortable and you might not say forget, but you might just yeah basically get comfortable. You gotta brace yourself and examine yourself and see what's going on, see the reality of this truth. You know, you put me hard. Comfort is a bitch. <laughs> All right, and one of the things that you're supposed to be doing through the spirit. You know, when you when you're not going through affliction, you're supposed to be preparing yourself for the affliction to come. You're yeah. supposed to be expecting um affliction. The scripture said that the Lord chastises them who he love. My son, prepare yourself, prepare thyself for temptation yeah, if they'll come to serve the Lord. Yeah. And if you serve in the Lord in sincerity, guess what? You're gonna be afflicted. Alright? So what are we supposed to be doing in the, the time that that we get in affliction? We prepare for uh, affliction. You know, we fast, we pray. That when these affliction come, you know, it ain't going to get to us. Mm -hmm. Scripture will slap you right out. Scriptures also say that when thou art in a low, thou art in a low state, uh, cleave to him more. Turn, turn, turn. You know? And the brother, the brother rebuked me today in meekness. And he said... Uh, Whenever you're going through affliction, don't ever isolate yourself. Don't go into no fortress or solitude saying, I'm Batman. I'm untouchable. I can make it through because I'm a, I'm a precept genius. And that was a cut for me because I'm trying to lean on my own strength. I'm fucking up. No putting it raw cut. And, you know, we can't do this on our own, you know. Our brothers are a gift. Basically, is what we're trying to say. Our brothers are a gift. Whether whether you whether in a country by yourself or in a block by yourself preaching, still got brothers online. 
reach out to them brothers. Just hit them up on Met A. We're going on, brother. You know? Drop a line on the brother. Check them in. And even that shit, that shit I'm slacking on. I used to hit my brothers privately and just gap with them, see what's going on with them. Now, you know, Shatan, Shatan trying to sift me. And now Yahweh Hashem Yahushua correcting me and so forth. But the beautiful thing is that it says, a wise man knows when he slip up, right? And, um, so that, yeah, the scripture say that, um, in 1 Corinthians, right? Mm -hmm. 13 and 13 and 5. Let it real quick. Yeah, I'm going to do Is it examined yet, sir? Yeah. Yeah, second. Second, second yeah, this, yeah, yeah, spirit, let me check second first. Okay, second, <laughs> second Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in faith, mm -hmm. prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. Right? And this prove that, you know, the exam is supposed to examine yourself as often as possible. See if you're doing things the right way, you're checking in on brothers, you know, you're being you're, you're in charity, you're doing charity, you know, you're doing your videos, you know, you're exhorting brothers, and then you just, just you just follow in the scriptures. Yeah. The scriptures say that know ye yourself that Yahusha is in you, except you be reprobate. So the only way that the Lord is in you is if you're a reprobate. Wow. And if and once you could find your fault, guess what? The Lord dealing with you. Why? Because He showed He, he would show it to you so you could correct it. Yeah. So that you could call on Him and He gonna give you that spirit or that strength to correct it. Alright? Which go back to the topic, you know, don't 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 seek anything on your own. Alright? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is John. Chapter 3, verse 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Ooh, shit. So if the most I think you're going up, it's from is is from heaven it coming. But if the most I tell you is a reprobate, it's from 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 down here in this wicked ass place, you know. And also they say that read it back up. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Yeah, so whether it be breakdowns, right? Because it's Lord that to give you the spirit, you know, so that when you look at the apostles, you get the understanding and believe it. Alright? The Lord had to give you the, the wisdom, you know, whether it be money, women, whatever it is. You know, and I speak carnal, carnal stuff and spiritual stuff. Yeah. You know, both sides of the spectrum. That the Lord had to give you it. All right, that faith, whatever it is, the Lord had to give you it. Don't ever think on yourself, think to yourself that you of your own self don't receive anything. All right. But it's from the Lord. Yeah. And that proved to you that you have to ask the Lord or go to the Lord for everything. Yeah. It's beautiful, you know. It's beautiful. Um, this is Sirach chapter 11 or Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 17. The gift of Yahweh remaineth with the godly and his favor bringeth prosperity forever. It says Yeah, any gift. <laughs> yeah, the gift of Yahweh remaineth with the godly. And what makes you godly? Following these words. Because these, the word the word God is the Hebrew word Allah, which means power. So the gift of the powerful. Slack it. Slack it. Yeah, the gift of the. Yeah. This is um, Sirach. 11 and 17, the gift of Yahweh remaineth with the godly, and his favor bringeth prosperity forever. Um, so that give this gift of wisdom, gift that you have in a job, the gift, the gift you have in the insanity. 350? Slack it. Yeah, this is great. Um, 
chapter rock 11 of 15 wisdom knowledge and understanding of the law are of yahweh yeah, so guess what i don't want no understanding if it ain't coming from the lord ah. i don't want no wisdom if it ain't coming from the lord and understand the law if it ain't coming from yahweh that's why we harp on yahweh's laws and not man's laws i mean we in captivity and we gotta obey it's good to say that agree with thine adversary or the other one uh, serve, serve thy masters it's a uh, submit yourselves unto the powers that be yeah yeah for they are ordained of yahweh so guess what we hear we have to obey these devils all right but at the same time yahweh and yahweh shai comes first yep because right? we ain't gonna take no chip <laughs> just believe that to the spirit we ain't gonna vote we ain't agree with no homosexual lgbtqiprlmnop agenda <laughs> <laughs> they just need a reason for adding another letter eh? yeah. damn devils yeah yeah it says wisdom knowledge and understanding of the law are of yahweh love the way of good works slack love and the way of good works are from him mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. error and darkness had had their beginning together with sinners and evil shall wax all with them that glory therein shit so don't glory in your sin <laughs> you know if you slip yeah because we are going to slip if you slip just seek counsel repent yeah. so if you say that um in the time of sin show repentance yeah you know so if you slip you know what i mean let me tell you real quick, huh? This is Sirach chapter 18 and verse. Um, yeah, Sirach 18 and 21. Humble thyself before thou be sick, and in the time of sins, show repentance. Yeah. You know, so don't be like, hey, uh, can't keep the laws, and just being a nigger. Yeah. You just repent, repent. Keep repenting. All right? Just repent and get back on track. All right, verse 17 of Sirach 11. The gift of Yahweh remaineth with the godly, and his favor bringeth prosperity forever. Yeah. And the prosperity is spiritual prosperity we're looking for right now because the carnal things of this world perish away. All right, and the prosperity is peace of mind, wisdom, and stability. All right understanding when when you and your worst you like you had peace because you understand why you're going through and you cleave into your bashing your shite to give you understanding why we go through these things all right um i think i got one more piece of final figure why not uh, oh yeah this is sweet I love this. this is uh romans chapter 11 verse 29 for the gifts and calling of Yahweh are without repentance. So these gifts that we've been given, spiritual and carnal, are without repentance. You can't disrespect Yahweh and say, you know why you give me this. I didn't want, I didn't ask for this. Abba knows best. You know? He knows why he, put, why he gives us these things. Like, like men who follow the truth, yeah, Abba Rakhazah, brothers and other uh, other men at gms pastors and elders and younger brothers on down brothers that to come in and sisters as well and uh, we don't spit or bring you how to an open you how about shim you shy to an open shame because this this truth what could be better than this and i was praying to you about shy and i was like i can give up the truth for this and give up the truth for something as small as this go back into the misery that you were in we didn't know when you went in you didn't know whether you're coming or going you know and the scripture says in james to the father light he brought you out of darkness all right i got one more precept you got any precept i was going to um First Corinthians 12. Mm -hmm. No. Mercy.
Hey, we bag it this Sunday just for that. Yeah, this is uh, Romans 11 and 29. For the gifts and calling of Yahweh are without repentance. Right, so the gifts and the calling of Yahweh are without repentance. All right, and with these gifts, what we're supposed to do is to use them to profit the entire brotherhood, mm. to profit with all. Right? right, and it said that in um, First Corinthians, but you see exactly what it is. All right, because it's not something that we we take what the Lord give us and we sit on it. All right, and we put it on a shelf and let it collect dust. Uh -huh. No, we use it to profit. All bring it out to, to profit the entire church, the body of the house. Shall. All right, okay. see, yeah, um, first Corinthians chapter 12, verse 6. And there are diversities of operations, but it's the same power which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. You know, so hmm. whatever it is, it's not for you alone, it's for the entire Akia. You know, profit with all, profit with all, to be a benefit to the entire body. All right, so that we, so that we all can come into that edi to be um, edified. All right, we can all be edified and brought into that one faith. All right, yeah, you know, so. hmm. yeah, we're just checking out the strongs. With all? No, not with all. The strong for the Romans eleven twenty nine. Yeah. Block it and delay. Um, it says it's for the word repentance, right? As a Greek word, wow, that's a long word. Amet is G two seven eight. Am et am el etos. It says not repentant of unregretted. You can't regret your how I will call you to be a prophet. No, I can't take it no more. Why, why, why as a prophet I can't do this and I can't do that? Because he brought you to uncleanness. It says our strong definition from G1 as a negative particle and a presumed derivative of G. It says uh, Romans 11.29 For the gifts and calling of Yahweh are without repentance. It says irrevocable without repentance. Not to be repent, not to be repented of. All right, I got my last piece up here. Um, it says um, Second Corinthians chapter nine verse fifteen. Thanks be unto Yahweh for His unspeakable gift. Words cannot comprehend this gift we've been given.